What's up pocket series and today I'll be showing you how to clear CMOS or reset your BIOS without actually using a jumper cable or taking out the CMOS battery. So a CMOS jumper is like one of these, I have just one laying around, one of these things. Most motherboards, most new motherboards like mine which is an MSI X570 Tomahawk, it doesn't come with one. And uh, this is actually a really easy step so they just have this lying around. So basically, you gotta see your motherboard manual. Let me just. You gotta see your motherboard manual to find the pins for the clear CMOS. So for me, let me just. It's uh, right there. If you can see it. JBAT1. There, uh, I'll edit it on the screen. So for this, all you need is really simple. You just need a screwdriver. Um. Make sure to turn off your PC first. I have a 3070 and 3700X making making this video because my PC won't actually boot. Just to make sure, take off all the power. So just turn everything off. Press the power button a couple of times to get all the power out. Because it holds it in the capacitor. So as I said, find the pins. You gotta use a use a pretty big screwdriver for it. So just find the pins. Hold on. Find the pins and find JBAT1. So there's two pins. You want to short it out with the tip of the screwdriver. So there you go. Hold it for around 10 seconds. And once you do that, you can turn your PC back on. Turn all the power back on. And it should go back into BIOS and you should be able to post again. So let's just wait for that. This should take a while because it resets everything. There you go. Everything just uh, go back to previous profile, Alt F1. And there you go. From here you should boot. Everything should go reset to normal. Just change what you changed before. For me it's resizable bar. Doesn't really work so disable that. I'll turn this on. So yeah, that should be it. Thank you for watching. This is really, really easy. You don't have to take everything apart because it's such a pain in the ass. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. See ya.